nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. Plus 30 seconds and Electron has left the pad at Rocket Lab Launch Complex 1 in New Zealand carrying the Astroscale Address J payload. In a few moments Electron will curb its engine power just a little to pass safely through the launch milestone known as Max-Q or Maximum Aerodynamic Pressure. This is the moment during ascent when Electron will experience the most amount of stress on its way to space. Cleared Max Q. And Electron is clear through Max Q. All is looking nominal at T plus one minute and 24 seconds into the mission with Electron cruising along HV, at speeds of over 2,600 kilometres an hour and now at 23 kilometres in altitude. If you've joined us in the past, you'll be very familiar with the next three events happening back to back. First will be the shutdown of the first stage's nine Rutherford engines in preparation for when the first and second stages separate from each other, and then the engine will start up on Electron's second stage. stage one, Those actions are called out as MECO, which stands for Main Engine Cutoff, followed by Stage Separation and then Stage 2 Ignition. We are expecting to hear those calls from Mission Control in just a few seconds. AOS Chatos. Enter burnout detect mode. Miko confirmed. Stage, Stage separation successful. Stage two ignition confirmed. And that's Miko confirmed, stage separation and second stage ignition, all seen from onboard okay, cameras on normal. Electron. From the second stage, we're now getting a live view of the space-optimised Rutherford engine that's powering the mission to orbit. Up next is fairing separation in just a few seconds. We'll likely see those two fairing halves fall away after the split, so watch out for that on your screen. Fairing jettison succeeded. That was the two fairing halves successfully deployed there, introducing Astroscale's payload to space. The mission is moving along in this second Stage phase of the journey at more than 8,600 kilometres an hour now, at an altitude of 127 kilometres. The burn on this Rutherford engine should continue for another four and a half minutes or so before we get to the final stage separation between the second stage and the kick stage with Astroscale's payload. For that event, we should see the Rutherford engine on the second stage turn cold before the stages separate. But before we get to that, that nozzle on your screen there will stay bright and hot as Electron continues on its trajectory to orbital insertion. Electron has hit the 9,800 kilometre an hour mark on its way to orbit with Astroscale. We're four minutes and 14 seconds into the mission now, having already completed liftoff, clearance through max Q, main engine cutoff, stage separation and second stage ignition. We have around five minutes left in this second stage engine burn to take the mission all the way to its target perigee of 522 kilometres. The perigee is the lowest point in, a in an elliptical orbit, and from there the kick stage will coast around the apogee of 600 kilometres. The kick stage will then ignite for final payload deployment of Adras J.
You can see from the telemetry data on your screen that Electron is now moving very quickly towards orbit. The second stage is on a nominal trajectory with the Astroscale payload, with everything looking great so far on this mission. At T plus nine minutes is when that second stage engine is expected to end its burn and shut down for the final stage separation. And before we get to that, we'll first need to perform an action unique to the Electron rocket called a battery hot swap. This happens only on the second stage of the vehicle, about halfway through the Rutherford engine burn time, when the first set of batteries that have been powering the engine's electric pumps are close to being empty. The battery hot swap replaces that first set with a new battery pack to power the engine the rest of the way. We're coming up on that milestone now, which should be coming Actually across the net shortly. Holding nominal, approaching hot swap in roughly 30 seconds. Throttling down. Hot swap successful. Guidance is nominal. We saw a flash of it there as it dropped away. The battery hot swap is now complete. Another major milestone with a green tick. Soon it will be shut down for SECO or second engine cutoff. This is the same process the rocket went through for main engine cutoff on the first stage before the se stage separation earlier in the mission. The second stage engine will throttle down before shutting off completely, ahead of the kick stage separating with the Astroscale payload so the mission can continue on to payload deployment. SECO is scheduled for T plus 9 minutes 5 seconds, which we are coming up to shortly. Stage 2 propulsion still holding nominal. You'll notice on the right side of your screen the fuel and oxidizer levels of the second stage engine. With just 22% of kerosene and 22% of liquid oxygen remaining, that puts us with just over a minute until the end of the second stage engine burn. With Electron moving at uh, 20,000 kilometres an hour now, we're coming up quickly on orbital velocity. All right, two more milestones this side of the coast phase of launch. SECO, or second engine cutoff first, followed by kick stage separation. The vacuum optimised Rutherford engine will throttle down ahead of shutoff and then the kick stage will separate from stage two. Let's check back in now with mission control and listen to those calls. And through burnout detect mode. Terminal guidance, 18 seconds remaining. Seco confirmed. Stage three separation confirmed and nominal transfer orbit achieved. Great news there from Mission Control, and as you saw on your screen as that engine nozzle cooled down, we have had a successful second stage shutdown and separation of the kick stage.